Okay, in this example I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to calculate the surface area of a nanoparticle um, in meter squared per gram. So the surface area of a uh, nanoparticle in square meters per gram. So this is a common uh, value that's often quoted for different types of nanoparticles. And so uh, we'll just work through the calculation to give you an idea of what's going on here. This is also important because the um, one of the factors that tends to change as a particle gets smaller and smaller is the percentage of atoms that are on the surface of the particle. So you have uh, more um, surface, much more surface area, many more atoms or particles on the surface, and this changes the property of the material. So let's take a look at this calculation. Um, if I start thinking about this, let's say we have some, uh, I'm going to make a gold um, particle and so I'll draw a picture of my particle so I can think about it a little bit here and so there it is and it's gold and let's say that this one is um, has a diameter of 10 nanometers and uh, and so that means my radius that was my diameter the radius will be equal to five nanometers and um, the main idea that I'm going to think about when I do this problem is uh, the volume of uh, a gram of this material is not going to change when I break that volume up into nano sized particles so the total volume of all of my nanoparticles um, hey uh, would you like to go to the DC dense spring game? of all my little particles is going to equal the volume of one gram of that material so the total volume of one gram is equal to the number of particles I have times okay. the volume of each individual particle and then likewise the uh, I could say the total surface area of all the particles is equal to the number the total number of particles times the surface area of each small particle. Okay, and so here's my formulas, and um, I'm going to look at those and think about them. The first thing, the other thing I can think of is uh, starting to look at some of these values and see if I can figure out any of them. Now I know the radius of the particle, so and I know there's a formula for the volume of a sphere based on the radius, so I can calculate. Um, I should be able to calculate this value. Uh, I also know the formula for the surface area of a sphere based on the radius, so I can calculate that value. And I also know, um, using density, I should be able to figure out the volume of one gram of the total material. So looking at this, I'll be able to get this value and this value. Using those two, I can figure out uh, n, and then using um, n and surface, the surface area of each particle and figure out the total surface area uh, of all of those particles and that will give me my surface area in square meters per gram. Okay, uh, So let's do that first. So um, if I look up onto uh, 
the internet I can find the density of gold and it is 19.3 grams so just looking up on the internet uh, I found a site that had uh, the density of gold equals 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter okay now if I think about density I know that the formula for density rho equals um, it's the amount of mass divided by the volume. And uh, so I can uh, do a little algebra on these, switch, change places with the, the V and the rho here, and do that calculation. So I'm, in order to switch places, I have to multiply both sides by V, like that and divide both sides by rho. So over here the v's cancel and then over here I have a rho and over here the rho's cancel. Now since I made a mess of that equation I'm going to rewrite it down here. v equals mass divided by density. So now I've rearranged the density equation so that I have a function of for the volume um, of mass divided by density. And my mass, since I want to compute um, how many square meters are in one gram per one gram, I'm going to use a mass of one gram and a density of 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. And so if I bring in my calculator, uh, I take, um, I just enter 19.3 and use the 1 over button to calculate that and that comes out to be 0 0.0518 cubic centimeters. So a gram of gold would occupy a volume of 0 0.0518 cubic centimeters. Put this back for a little while. Okay, uh, so I'm going to keep that in mind and I'm going to go on to the next part of the problem. And uh, so I have my big V. Now if I had my little V I could rearrange this equation and solve for N. So my little